You guys might have heard that we're planning our first film festival, and this video is brought to you by the artist who did our beautiful, spectacular poster artwork. It is our friend Kat Cushion. You guys can, she is up right now for commissions and really just anything. Just hit her up because she has a great eye and a very candid artistic style. All of her links can be found in the show notes below. What's going on guys? Welcome to Victims and Villains. If you guys are new to our content, we create content like what you're watching right now just to educate and engage individuals like yourselves on mental health awareness and suicide prevention through pop culture. My name is Captain Nostalgia. I am a writer and podcaster here as well as the film festival director for Horrific Hope coming to beautiful Winchester, Virginia at the Alamo Draft House, April 29th and 30th. If you guys would like more information on this year's lineup along with this year's sponsors, plus more information about what we do, movie reviews and podcasts, along and most importantly, our mental health resource library, check the show notes below. This video is a, a little bit delayed and I apologize in advance not only to you guys but also to the filmmakers that made this movie taking on a film festival and top of doing everything else that we normally do including cons and podcasting and movie reviews this one kind of got lost in the shuffle and I deeply deeply apologize today we are going to be talking about the movie The Abandoned which you guys can now check out on VOD and and this one is kind of interesting. So this one tells this and it tells the story of a soldier that gets wounded in the midst of war and he finds himself in this just room with a few items and a connection to the future. And uh, he must find out the source of the mystery of how he got there, how he's communicating with someone in the future and really what all of this means moving forward. The movie is like if you took the Ryan Reynolds gem buried and mixed it with the Jim Caviezel movie frequency. This is what The Abandoned is. And I'll be honest with you, this movie, while it's not always the most groundbreaking story, it is entertaining and it, it kept me guessing and kept me wanting to know what happens next. Jonathan Rosenthal plays the lead in this movie, and this movie is super tiny. It's basically one man in a room having a conversation over the phone with someone else. Someone else is played by Tamara Perry, and I'll get to her in just a few minutes. A movie that is set up around the premise that this movie sets itself up against, you really, truly have to have a good leading actor in the role, because honestly, your movie is either going to be made or broken by that actor. Jonathan Rosenthal does a good job at balancing what the movie needs being this gripping mystery but also this heartbreaking tale of this soldier that's been separated and is kind of honestly terrified. He brings a levity to this character that otherwise had it, had this been missing this film would have just felt really generic and really forgettable. I think on the opposite end of, of Rosenthal you have Perry, and Perry has arguably the harder of the two jobs here. Rosenthal gets to convey his emotion via his face, body language, and kind of the way that he gets to interact with the camera. Perry has to convey all of her emotions just vocally. Let me tell you that she just really rises to the occasion with this. It's truly a great counterpoint to have to this alluring mystery that Rosenthal finds himself in the middle of. And the way that this film is woven with time travel in the midst of it, it's a truly unique thing that really helps this film kind of stand out. To be honest, while the performances are really great, this movie kind of feels a little bit lifeless in certain points of the movie. I talked about how like this movie would feel really forgettable if it wasn't for the performances. And I constantly, when I started off this video, I compared it to Buried Meets 
frequency and it is exactly that it is those two things like i couldn't shake those comparisons the entire time i was watching those movies I truthfully don't know what it what that those comparisons say about the quality of the film or what it says about me as a someone reviewing the movie the abandoned isn't inherently a bad movie it just feels like it takes a little bit of personality from other movies that have previously been established of itself kind of makes it feel a tad forgettable i can't i will say though that out of out of all of my frustrations i had with this movie and the performances are really good but it's just the visuals that really kept me going like this movie looks stunning ray hang i'm deeply sorry if i mispronounced that name the cinematographer on on this movie and he does a great job at really elevating the intensity needed for this all right so let's take this through the rorschach rating scale i'm gonna get give the abandon a three out of five while i think this movie it does definitely feel familiar in some elements its performances its intensity and its visuals help this film kind of stand on its own and carve out its unique identity despite drawing other comparisons to major other major motion pictures i'm gonna go ahead and for this week's mental health moments new to our content mental health moment is where we take a theme of mental health and we draw it out from the movie simply to just deconstruct and talk about it for a few minutes to get rid of the stigma surrounding mental health because it's yucky this one, I'm not going to try and even relate to anything within this movie. Normally, sometimes if you guys have watched our, our videos in the past, it's really easy for me to kind of make personal connections or to kind of personalize this section of the video. I can't do that here because I've never gone through anything as dramatic as war. I've never gone or anything. So I'm just going to simply place the veterans hotline right here because this film deals a lot with... Uh, PTSD, it deals a lot with uh, abandonment, it deals a lot with just themes that I'm sure a lot of veterans and a lot of those individuals that are serving in the United States Army right now constantly go through. So, thank you so much for your service. And I'm going to go ahead and throw that in here. That number is going to be 1-800-273-8255 and it is extension 1. That number again is 1-800-273-8255. And there's going to be extension one. If you guys would like, there's going to be more links in the show notes below. Make sure that you guys check out The Abandoned. It is now streaming video on demand. And have a great night, guys.